Alrighty, today we're going to be doing something really awesome. It's called functions. All right, functions are actually one of the most important things in programming, right? Because functions helps us organize our code into pieces of code, like a block of code, and then we can use that code over and over again just by naming it and referring to it by the name. Just like variables, we use a name and then we enclose values into it. And when we want to refer to those values, we use the name, right? So functions work very similar, but they are more powerful than arrays and more powerful than, more powerful than variables and anything else you can think of. Let me show you exactly the syntax of a function and let me show you how we use them. So let's go ahead and let's do a save as on this blank.php. Let's call this functions. All right. Perfect. And I'm going to make this tutorial, this video here, short and sweet and informative. All right. So PHP. We got the tags right here, and you should already got used to that. So how in the world we define a function and exactly what is it? All right. So let me just give you an example. If I have... All this code here that is printing out some array functions that we, uh, not array function, array values, right, that we did in array sections. If we want to use this code over in another page, right, we want to do the same thing in another page, we have to copy this, right click it, and copy it into another page, right, if we want to reuse it. And then, if, let's say, for example, I have 10 pages and I want to use the same code in 10 pages. I will have to go physically and copy this 10 times. Well, functions allow us to actually wrap all this in a block, in a block, and then we can just name it. Let's say, for example, block 1. All right? And all we have to do, if we want to use this over and over again, in each of those 10 pages, we just use the block 1 name. And all this code will get executed every time we use that name. Right, so we can wrap a lot of information in a block, in a sec, in a, in a function, and we can refer to it by its name. All right, it's really awesome. Functions are really awesome. So I'm gonna go to functions.php back again there, and let's use let's learn how to define it. So the first thing that we have to type in here is the function name, well, actually the function keyword. So we say function, and you see my co-editor already highlighted this in blue because it already knows that function, this is a reserved word word in PHP, and many programming languages use this too. So function, and then we type the name of the function. This function is just going to say something, and I'm just going to name it say something, because that's what it's going to do. you got to be very descriptive when you're writing functions. If not, when you write your code, it's not going to be understood. You're not going to understand your code very much, and other people will not either. So at the end of the name of the function, you put the parentheses and the curly brackets, just like we do if statements, all right? Very similar to if statements. And we put it down, and then inside these curly brackets, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have all the code that we want to run every time we use this name. This is a name that we are going to use every time we want to refer to everything inside here, and this could be 3,000 lines of code, all right? When everything we enclose here is not going to work until we use this name here. All right, and I'm going to show you right now exactly what that means. Let, just, let's just do something very simple. I'm going to say, hello, student. All right, do you like, like the class? Yes? Okay. Great. All right. So we're just going to say that. Now, if I go ahead and open this in the browser, we if we do this, all right, we're going to get an error because I didn't put my semicolon right here. All right. And by the way, I found out really quick about a mistake because I've been writing code for a long time. So if you, for some reason, you get stuck here, just make sure that you read your error right here with PHP and make sure that you read the line here. Syntax error, they will tell you very clearly that you made a mistake on your syntax. Sometimes your syntax error could be 100 lines above, all right? So make sure that you know that. So now you see that this is not executing right here. And I say it's not going to execute until we use the name. 
So I'm going to copy the name and I'm going to put it right below that curly bracket outside the function. Don't put it inside because it's not going to work. Then make sure that you put a semicolon there and save it. Done. See that? Now every time we use this anywhere in our document, this name here, say something here. I can put it in 10 different pages. All this code in here could be running. And right now we've just got one line of code here. But imagine we have a thousand lines of code. Let's say we have a program that calculates the temperature, calculates, uh, gives us a, uh, you know, some message on the screen with the calendar on how the temperature is going to be all week, gives us the time for the browser that we are, I mean, gives us a whole bunch of information, you know, gives us information about the user logging into our website or application, whatever, and we just say, we just call the function called initialize or something like that, some, some function. You know, we just call some crazy function, initializer. And it would initialize a whole bunch of code for us. So this is the way, this is how we will use functions, all right, to do a lot of things. Sometimes we have very, very small functions, and each of those functions could be doing one thing at a time. We can have a big function and wrap many different little functions inside and do something else. Like we can just call, let's say, for example, we have a function here called init, and this is very common. In PHP and many different programming languages we have a function like this and then we have the little different functions inside we can call different functions that we can call this all right so when we start this function it will echo this and then it will call another function from outside for example um, let's just make another function here let's just create this and let's call this calculate calculate all right. All right. And I'm just not going to do that. And I'm just going to echo out maybe some numbers. I'm going to add some numbers here. So every time I call this function here, calculate, it's going to add some numbers for me. All right. So we have the init function there, and I want to call the calculate. So what I do is I put the, this function here. I'm going to use init to call calculate. All right. So every time I call the init, it's going to call calculate. And then I'm going to make another function here. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to call this say something. This is the, the say something one. And I'm going to take this echo out of there. I'm not going to use the init for that. And this say something is going to be like this. All right. So I got three functions here. This init function, I'm going to use it to call both of these functions here. I just want to show you an example how powerful functions can be. How we can use them to do other things. All right. We have an error somewhere right there. All right. So I hope you see what I'm doing here. I have two functions here that, all right, this one's going to calculate some numbers. It's going to do an addition. And this one's just going to say something. So, I got this init function that I'm going to call right now, and when I call this function, it's gonna, this function is going to call this function here, and it's going to call this function, all right? And I want to put a echo in between there because I want some space into the data that's going to come out on the screen, and I'm going to call init right here. Boom. Beautiful, isn't it? So, we call init. The first thing that init said, did was call the say something function and it said hello right here. This is the function. And then the second thing that I did is that it added these two numbers together and this is what it is. So you see how we can use functions to, to do a lot of things, all right? I hope you see how powerful this can be, all right? And I'm going to leave this code here in your course, course exercise files and you can use it. All right, but if you did it with me, you have it with you, and great. So I hope you were able to learn something valuable in this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.